AI just designed a complete mobile app in seconds. But can Google's brand new Stitch really compete with Figma Make, the AI everyone's been talking about? Let's put them head to head. Same prompt, same rules, no edits. And I'll show you where each one shines and where it breaks. We'll start with Google Stitch, a free AI-powered design tool from Google running on Gemini 2.5 Pro. It can turn text, sketches, or even screenshots into complete UI designs with real front-end code. That's not just design. That's a game changer for anyone who wants to build apps or websites without developers. You can upload sketches, mockups, or images to start your project, whether it's web or mobile. On the left, you'll also find example apps for quick orientation. Here's how the modes differ. Standard mode uses Gemini 2.5 Flash, faster, simpler, perfect for quick results. Experimental mode uses Gemini 2.5 Pro, slower but produces richer, more complex layouts. For this test, we'll use standard mode. Here's the prompt. Create a daily planner app for mobile. Include a to-do list, calendar view, and a priority color system. Use colorful task cards, animated progress bars, and a clean grid-based layout. And boom, the result appears in seconds. Pretty solid start, right? Now comes the fun part, refinement. You can tweak your design either through the toolbar or directly in the chat. I type more modern UI, and look, instantly sharper, cleaner, more balanced. You can keep prompting endlessly, fine-tuning layouts, styles, and visuals until it just clicks. Another great feature? You can view the HTML code, copy it, or export directly to Figma. Let's try that. Click the Figma button, open Figma, press Ctrl plus V, and yes, the full interface appears. It's even built with auto layouts. You'll have to click through quite a few layers to reach some elements. Naming could also use some cleanup. Still, that's a working UI in seconds. That's impressive. All right, now let's switch gears and test Figma Make. If you want a deeper dive on Make, check my full review on the channel later. Same prompt, same setup. Generation takes a bit longer than Stitch, but wow, this one feels alive. Interactive right away. You can click through the flow, test transitions. It behaves like a real app. Functionally, stronger. The generated code, much more detailed. I ask it again, make a more modern UI. And it nails it. Cleaner visuals, great hierarchy. Love it. Let's check it inside Figma Design. Click the Design button, hit Copy, open Figma, Control plus V. Looks great. Structured layers, good spacing, but still a lot of hierarchy depth. So both tools have that same nesting issue. So which one's better? Both are powerful, but in different ways. As a final design tool, not yet. But as a wireframing and concept tool, absolutely. They save time, simplify iteration, and are surprisingly easy to use. For me, Figma Make still leads, especially for designers who focus on prototypes, interactions, and connected data. Stitch, on the other hand, perfect for anyone who wants to generate UI fast, see real code, and experiment. And yes, it's completely free. But let's be real, AI is still far from replacing designers. It's a tool, one that designers need to master. Because if you ignore it, you'll get left behind. The ones who learn it early will lead the next design era. Next, I'll test how far AI can go without a human designer. If you want to see that, hit subscribe and drop a comment, ship it. See you in the next one.